right, Troopers. Horde mode just dropped and it is finally bringing phase two of Starship Troopers Extermination to a close. We've got some new player profile stats, a few quality of life improvements, and finally the whole reason you're here, Horde mode. Now I'm going to be downright dirty honest with you. It's got a lot of improving to do before I can say Horde mode is great. The potential is like light year astronomical, but being 100% legit, there were game breaking bugs, no pun intended, in every match I tried playing today. From nukes not detonating, bugs simply just walking through walls, and even troopers phasing through the mobile HQ becoming unkillable. There's a lot that's been going wrong, but like I said, there is so much potential. So to quickly go through what Horde Mode is, Horde Mode is like if the final base defense phase was in rounds, there are 10 waves troopers have to defend against with each wave getting progressively harder. Usually by wave 4 things really start hitting the fan, but the difficulty spikes by wave 6 from just how many bugs are swarming you. Also after each wave, the arachnids start to get modifiers that make them progressively stronger, faster, and harder to kill. Special bugs are popping in left and right, so without good communication from the team, it's almost a clean sweep for the arachnids. Really, it's a shit show, and I'm all about it. Now, Offworld throws a wrench in the plan, meaning each wave you can't rebuild the base, uh, troopers don't revive after a timer, and on top of that you have very, very limited resources to actually build your base. You can only repair during the time between waves, so it's like a mad dash to get a somewhat decent base, and then pray to god you can defend it in the meantime. There are also secondary objectives that drop, like rocket launchers and the even more important one, the resource drops. Getting these resource objectives are huge as it allows you to build up your base and not be shorthanded for the later rounds. Like I said, it's a great idea, it just still has way more kinks in it before I'd say I find it enjoyable. Now, before anybody says anything, I know this game is in early access, so based on how Offworld has been listening to the community, I'm willing to say that by the next patch, a lot of this stuff is going to be fixed. So I'm not too pressed about how things are going. For one, the actual glitches are rampant in this mode, so everything could be going right till it doesn't. Uh, a couple examples, like I've had multiple matches with a focus on the map Fuel Depot, where bugs just don't spawn in. Uh, secondary mission spawns in with even more bugs, but it won't count down on like the actual wave elimination or like timer when you eliminate them. So you're kind of just like stuck with two bugs left and you can't find them at all. I've had like three matches like this so far with my highest wave being wave 7. It's just like the game can't handle the huge amount of bugs that it's throwing at you or they get clipped into a wall. I honestly have no idea. I'd say for like the final 10 bugs or maybe less they should be highlighted like a scan beacon does or at least general ping locations on the TAC map. Either way it's just a total mood killer having a decent team and base only to not be able to finish because of something silly like that. And another annoying exploit that I've seen people doing is somehow getting inside the mobile HQ. I did this by accident in this clip, but I guess you can just compress yourself into an atomic form, squeeze into the machinery, and then start firing outside of it in some weird wacky Marvel tomfuckery. You think you'd be stuck in here too, but nope, you can just simply mount back out, get ammo, and then crawl back in. One thing I would like to address is people complaining about the manned machine gun turrets in horde mode. These turrets work on being able to consistently fire without slowing down. The counterbalance to this system is that they need to be repaired. However, in horde mode you can't repair anything at all during the waves. Now a lot of people are saying that this needs to be fixed so that the turrets can be repaired. And just as a side note, I say a lot of people but I've seen like two or three reddit posts and I've seen multiple, heard multiple people complaining in game about it. As much as I love having the heavy machine guns, I heavily disagree that they should be able to be repaired during the actual wave. For one, these things could wreck shop on the waves. Having them be balanced out by a health bar is really the only way to do it. Otherwise it would just be, honestly, too easy. So I can understand it, you know, people like using them, but horde mode is supposed to be crazy and difficult. Right now, I think the best thing is to just leave them be for right now until we can get the other priority glitches fixed. It feels like I'm really ragging on the new mode, but I promise it's coming out of love. The potential for this game is massive, and I really want to see it go absolutely crazy. So, keep calling all of those bugs and glitches out with the feedback form, and keep on pumping lead. That was stupid. Otherwise, you know, Offworld has been moving fast and really creating a fun as hell game. I'd like to really see this game just go Coco for Cocoa Puffs. Anyway, thanks for watching.